First tonight, Austin police announced they're expanding the investigation into the officer involved shooting that killed 42 year old Michael Ramos Friday night. Texan police reporter Jacqueline Powell looks into the department's policy and what it says about using force in a case like this. The Austin Police Department is calling in help from the Department of Public Safety to investigate Friday's deadly officer involved shooting following outcries of concern that Michael Ramos was shot unjustly. And we've heard you, and that's why we're taking these steps. Austin Police Chief Brian Manley says the department got its warrant to search the car Ramos was shot in, but APD won't say yet whether investigators found a gun. And we have many witnesses that have yet to be interviewed, and I do not want to put out information that they may not be aware of that would influence or change a statement that they may make. So far, the department's questioned six officers who were on the scene and 24 witnesses. After witness video shows Ramos didn't do what officers asked, Officer Mitchell Piper hit him with a non-lethal beanbag gun. Then he tried to drive away. That's when Officer Christopher Taylor fired and Ramos crashed. You know, here we have a man who insisted many, many times that he simply did not have a gun. And I'm not sure how many times a person has to say that to be believed. I think that we can probably find a lot of issues um, with their policies. Um, and um, how they read them or how they're trained in them. We dug into APD's policy when it comes to using force. Officers may do so when they believe a suspect might be under the influence, may have a weapon, could hurt others, or may escape. All of those could have applied in this case. Police say the 911 call they got reported drug use going on in the car Ramos was in and that he was holding up a gun. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. The department's policy says officers are justified in using deadly force only when they believe there is a risk that a suspect could kill or seriously hurt someone.